Hey now, Rodney R. Dixon here, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the operating system on your LG mobile phone. Now, the reason I'm creating this video is because I wanted to upgrade the Android operating system on my LG Optimus One from 2.2 Froyo to 2.3 Gingerbread. And I was having a lot of trouble figuring out how to do it. I was doing research online, and they were speaking of how to do it on unlocked phones and how to use beta Android releases and all of this stuff which frankly I found rather confusing and especially considering that my phone isn't what what well, wasn't I should say an unlocked phone and was a phone that was locked to a provider because it was provided by a provider I wasn't sure how to go about it luckily on an LG it's actually a pretty simple straightforward and automated process so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Firstly, what you do is you open up your favorite browser. Here I'm using Apple Safari. You then go to LG.com. Wait for it to load. There you go. In my case, it went to Canada English. I'm sure it would show your localized version. At which point you scroll down. You look on the left side there and you find support. There we go. Now you might want to access that pop-up menu that opened up to the right, but you'll notice when you try to scroll to it, oh, disappears, oh, disappears. So you could just click on support and it'll bring you to a sub-menu. There you go. Now, normally I would tell you to click on mobile phone support, but there is a benefit to just putting in the mobile, uh, sorry, the model number here that benefit is it shows you a reference picture of your device and that reference picture can in fact identify if it is in fact your device or not take for example uh, Samsung which is you know a different company altogether but it's just just to reference that if you look up Samsung Galaxy Apollo there are two Samsung Galaxy Apollos there's the i5800 and the i5801, I believe. So, that being said, you know, these subtle differences can make a difference. So, if you enter the model number here, you click continue, you'll have a reference picture. You can confirm and go ahead. If you don't know your model number, let me show you how to find it. Click on mobile phone support. And we wait. Here you go, mobile phone support. Let me show you where the model number is located. It's located in the battery compartment underneath the battery. So you'd open up your phone, remove the battery, and you'd look for this label with the angled corner in the upper right. Now, the model number, you'll see a, a lot of series of numbers, like an FCC ID beginning with BEJ, I believe, and other types of numbers. The best reference is you look in the lower right and you'll see generally it, it'll be a series of digits or uh, letters, a dash, and another series of digits or letters. And there you go, that'll be your model number. Now, if you're fairly confident, you could type it in here under LG Mobile Phone Support, but then you won't get a reference picture and you won't be able to, in fact, confirm that it is your phone. Equally, you could use this um, the scroll menu and just choose your model number here. I'm going to return back to support, and I'm going to enter it on the main support page. I happen to remember it, so let's say for the sake of argument, I had looked it up. and But I wanted to confirm that it was, in fact, my number. So on this general support site, I'm going to type in... P500H. Of course, remember that your model number could be different, and should be different, obviously. For example, P500 is also an LG Optimus One. In my case, it was a P500H. Maybe it has to do with the fact that mine was locked to the TELUS network. Not sure. But anyway, mine was a P500H. Click on Continue. And we wait. Here we go. The LG P500H. That's what it suggests. Click on it.
LG product support for LG P500H. There we go. There's my reference picture. It is, in fact, my phone. The LG Optimus One, issued by Telus Mobility. Okay, great. And here you go. Software update. There's two updates. So this is the way you do it. Just a Windows USB driver and a software update. It's relatively simple. What you do is without your phone, with your phone, sorry, should rephrase that, with your phone not connected to your USB port on your computer through the data charge transfer cable, what you do is you download this Windows USB driver, you run it, you install it. It doesn't give a lot of feedback, so once there's no longer any windows open on screen, it's generally installed. Done deal. From there, you connect your phone. There probably, once again, will not be any feedback on screen saying that it was, in fact, recognized and uh, installed and is working with the drivers, but take for given that it is working with the drivers, at which point you then download and install this called Software Update, which is a small utility that's going to open in your taskbar, a little LG icon in red. And then from there, it'll take you through a completely automated system where, you get, where it's going to tell you there's software updates available for your phone. You click on Update. You go through a very simple process. It'll even um, identify your phone, what model it is, the make, and what have you, what current, uh, current operating system's on there. And it's going to update all on its own. It's going to give you complete feedback through the software update procedure. And once it's all done, it'll tell you it's all done. And when you disconnect your phone and boot up your phone, there you go. You'll be on the newest available operating system from your phone issued by LG. To confirm your provider, in my case, it was TELUS Canada, which is indicated right here. There's also TELUS Kudu, since Kudu's owned by TELUS. And, uh, yeah, there you go. It was as simple as that. It worked great. It upgraded the phone in no time. I do have to tell you, the download was rather long, because, you know, I mean, downloading a whole new operating system for your phone, it's not, uh, it's not a small little thing. So it did take time, but, uh, it did get done within a relative amount of time. I made sure not to play with anything. It, uh, it warned me that it really wanted all resources available when it went through the update. Now the reason for that is during an update, such as when you're flashing a computer BIOS, if anything should interrupt the process, you know, you disconnect the phone, power goes out, whatever, you could cause uh, some serious problems. You could uh, proverbially brick your phone where, you know, you don't have access to it anymore. So you want to make sure you have full bandwidth you want to make sure if you're using a, um, a portable computer like a laptop or a netbook that you have, you know, you're plugged into your power supply and everything, and there's no um, programs in the background that are eating up resources or anything eating up uh, network resources such as bandwidth. You want full bandwidth, full power, full processing power, full memory. You want to get it done as quickly as possible. My um, my bandwidth connection, my um, what's it called? Uh, not LAN. What do I want to say? My DSL connection is rather slow, given how far I live from the central station. My maximum download speed is around 120 k a second. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is to give you a reference point of how long it took to upgrade my. LG Optimus 1 from 2.2 Froyo to 2.3 Gingerbread. It took around 20 minutes. And like I said, once I got the system started, it was practically all automated. You know, I kept my eye on it, just went elsewhere, did something else, just keeping my on it, eye on it every once in a while. And when uh, after around 20 minutes, everything was done, everything was updated, disconnect my phone, boot up my phone, bingo, I'm on the 2.3 Gingerbread. It's as simple as that. Well, there you go. I hope this uh, video helps you in, you know, upgrading the operating system on your LG phone, and uh, there you go. All the best.